believer, there's one big assumption in this passage that we can't forget, that this is a local church that is actually in each other's lives enough that they rub each other the wrong way. Meaning, the church has to play enough of a role in your life that you could actually have conflict with somebody. And statistics today are really disheartening. Church attendance is on the decline. Many evangelicals, so theologically conservatives that believe in a born-again experience, on purpose attend church once a month, regardless of sickness, business, travel, vacation. And I listened to a podcast with Russell Moore and a guy named Sky Janthani, who I think is the only... No, there's three half-Indian Christians that I know of worldwide, and he is one of them. And he's a pastor and writer, and he said he thinks one of the reasons is because preaching is so available on the internet now. So why do I need to go to church? And people tell me, hey, I listened to you on Tuesday. Now, hopefully it's because they had business travel or they were near death's door, you know, but but that's fine. But we've got a lot of people that on purpose go to church once or twice a month. In fact, I thought this statistic might change over the years, but it hasn't. We believe about 50% of our members, people that call Bible Church their home church, attend about 50% of the time. And that's nationwide. That's that's the trend. And uh, but the problem is, it's wonderful to get all these resources online. But one of the biggest parts of church is like physically, we're here. So I don't think the video thing is wrong. Okay, I'm not saying that. But I think the fact that you can actually come up and hug me afterwards is really right. Don't hit me. (laughs) But you can hug me. Like it's something that we are here physically in this room, even though technically you could go to a podcast and hear the same thing. But it's not the same thing. Like, I'm just going to embarrass no, she right now, but I can touch him. That's theologically and spiritually important. So I'm going to ask you believers to, in your own heart, come down the aisle and give your heart to the church. You gave your heart to Jesus. Now I'm going to ask you to give your heart to the church, the family of God. I don't want to be a chef at some kind of boutique restaurant where people go to a few times a year. I am a cook for an army platoon on a battlefield, and I need to give you a healthy square meal so that you have energy to go to war. And it's a platoon that loves each other a lot, shoulder to shoulder. Hear it this morning, I am not a chef, I am a cook. Three square meals a day for an army platoon. That is what I want to be. No more of this, I love Jesus, I don't like the church. What if someone said to me, I like you, Jay, I just don't like Rebecca. But that's the deal. The church is the bride of Christ. Can I ask you to give your heart to the local church?